Honorable Chief Minister of Dr. Sandhu, Chief Secretary, Government of Uttarakhand, Mr. Rohit Meena, Director General and Commissioner Industries, Government of Uttarakhand, Dr. Minakshi Sundaram, Secretary to Honorable Chief Minister, Government of Uttarakhand, Ms. Sonia Garg, Past Chairperson, CII Uttarakhand and CEO of Foras Speciality, Ms. Ranju Alex, Area Vice President, South Asia, Marriott International, friends from the media, ladies and gentlemen. A very good afternoon to all of you. At the outset, on my personal behalf and on behalf of CII, I would like to welcome you to the roadshow of the Global Investors Summit this morning in India's financial capital, Mumbai. CII is honored to be the national industry partner for the Uttarakhand Global Investors Summit, which will happen on 8th and 9th December in Dehradun. And we thank government for giving us the opportunity to organize same. Uttarakhand as a state is the third highest in hydropower generation and is already having a capacity of nearly 3,400 megawatt with the potential to reach 18,000 megawatt. And that's a unique opportunity, not only in hydropower, but also in very many other sectors, such as tourism, manufacturing, wellness, healthcare, infrastructure, pharma, agriculture, food processing. I can give you a long list of things that you can do in Uttarakhand and the possibility of doing so many things. The purpose of organizing the Global Investors Meet, which Honorable Chief Minister himself has been leading not only in India, but globally also in many cities, is to showcase the strength of the state and the vast investment potential. In fact, there are a number of important and positive factors which help the industrial climate in Uttarakhand. But the most important is that this is a government which walks the talk. Ease of access, ease of doing business is something which is very much ingrained. And we have today two speakers over here who would share their experience that how their investment that they have done has done so good for them, uh, their, uh, their employees, as well as for the community over there. This clearly indicates the sharp, the sharp focus of the state in terms of furthering economic development in the state. And I'm certain that this will go a long way to make this summit successful and for the state's economic progression. I'm certain we have large number of industry members from Maharashtra who are present over here, and they are interested in setting up their ventures and collaborate in Uttarakhand in various sectors, as I mentioned to you. And Right across the state, there are a whole lot of opportunities, whether it is in tourism, manufacturing. Uh, I have myself uh, been to a number of plants in Uttarakhand. In fact, uh, I come from Tata Power, and all our uh, turbines and all our uh, plants uh, are operated from machines <clears throat> which has come from BHL Haridwar. So thank you uh, for Uttarakhand for being a part of our growth uh, initiatives. And many areas where where huge amount of support is being provided in Uttarakhand. And I think that apart from the natural beauty, it also provides opportunities in natural products that can be made. And one of the big areas that we see that is happening, especially in terms of Ayurveda treatment, uh, which is again a great opportunity for people who are going for natural medicine. The state also provides huge amount of initiatives and, and support in carrying out a number of manufacturing activities, including contract manufacturing and research for various drugs and vaccines. And I think the pharma industry has done exceedingly well, but this is just tip of the iceberg, and the potential that is there is phenomenal. I strongly believe that all our industry members who are present over here from Maharashtra can collaborate with Uttarakhand in various areas, but some of the areas that uh, which are uh, little new is financial investment, IT industry, 
Uh, again, great opportunity. It is very close to Delhi, NCR area, and the IT industry can come in a big way, especially considering the local talent which is available in Uttarakhand. Uh, renewable power generation, again, the state has come with a unique uh, policy, solar policy, which will support the renewable power generation, apart from, of course, the many pumped hydro and the, uh, and the run of the river hydro projects. And also sourcing of number of agri and horticulture pro uh, products, including food processing. I would like to once again welcome the Uttarakhand government delegation and Honorable Chief Minister leading it so that the interactions over here becomes much more fruitful and many of them can be precursor to the investment that will happen during the investor meet on 8th and 9th December. CII would like to assure the Honorable Chief Minister and the government delegation and to all our members that we are heavily engaged in this investment conclave and I am certain that the desired goals under the Chief Minister's visionary leadership, dynamism and guidance will help and support the industrialization and the investment that can happen in Uttarakhand. I once again welcome you to the, uh, to the Uttarakhand Global Investors Summit on 8th and 9th, and I do look forward for a very engaging conversation today afternoon and also subsequently till the investor meet happens on 8th and 9th. I wish all the delegates a wonderful afternoon and look forward for the net networking opportunity that will be there. Thank you once again. Thank you very much.